5 Most Crazy Military Vehicles Ever Made Number 5. Boston Dynamics Big Dog Boston Dynamics is fairly well known, with their Big Dog invention being a pretty wild vehicle. It's unmanned and technically a robot, but is capable of so much awesome stuff that we just had to give it a shout out. This thing is a beast, able to get knocked around from any direction and maintain its balance perfectly. It's also capable of jumping and traversing incredibly difficult terrain. This insanely advanced quadruped was funded by DARPA with the intention of using it in combat situations, but it turned out to be too loud, although we're sure that future versions will be capable of being much quieter. It has sensors located all over its body, along with stereo vision and a built-in gyroscope. It can run at 4 miles per hour, which isn't all that impressive, but the tech is still new, so we should expect improvement there soon enough. The Big Dog project was succeeded by Spot, which is all electric, but can only carry around 40 pounds in total. Even though the Big Dog has been discontinued, it had an impressive run, and there's no reason why we shouldn't see it be revitalized as our technology improves. Number 4. Caspian Sea Monster This vehicle was officially known as the Karabi Maquette, or KM, and is a pretty crazy invention to say the least. A form of a cranoplan, it was developed by the Soviet military between 1964 and 1965. Acrano plans are designed to use the ground effect to fly close to a flat surface, with water generally being the best bet if they're going to be effective. The vehicle never graduated past the testing phase and ended up sinking after an accidental crash. American spy satellites were able to capture images of this contraption in use. The KM was intended to be used by search and rescue teams, but ended up needing one itself when it disappeared beneath the waves. The craft was so heavy that it wasn't salvageable from its watery grave with crew being unable to drag it back out again. That was the end of the experiment, with plans never really taking off, so to speak. The Soviets tested all sorts of plans back in the mid-1900s, with none ending up being all that viable. The real downside to the KM was that it weighed around 544 tons, which was way too heavy, as developers eventually found out, albeit a little too late. Number 3. VZ-9 Avrocar it should go without saying that the US military was going a little UFO crazy when they came up with this strange vehicle. It was developed by Avro Canada on behalf of the US in the late 50s, and teams hoped to use a turbo motor to generate thrust by blowing exhaust out the sides of the craft. It looks just like a flying saucer and was supposed to be an offensive vehicle that engineers hoped would be quick at high altitudes. The initial project was eventually scrapped when teams ran into overwhelming issues, with the Army picking it back up and attempting to build on the previous team's work. The craft was eventually able to lift off and fly around, but building enough thrust to achieve any real height was impossible, and the craft also seemed to become incredibly unstable, even when it was relatively close to the ground. Even though the project was eventually scrapped for good with no real advances being made, many designers have run with the idea with plenty of concept cars being dreamed up that looked very much like the Avro car. We're a little disappointed that this design wasn't able to work out because we'd love to see the Army start using real-life flying saucers to get around. Number 2. Screw Tanks Now, a screw tank was designed to be operated by rotating a pair of screws that are installed on either side, instead of the more traditional tracks. These vehicles do have some fairly specialized uses and can be amphibious as well as land-based. They do a good job plowing through difficult, uneven terrain, but do seem like they're a royal pain to steer with any real control. The Second World War saw a lot of testing of screw tanks, but pretty much all of those ended up not being all that feasible, although they did have significant benefits over track tanks when used in deep snow. Many experts thought that they could be used as troop transport vehicles, especially in winter with a number of variations proposed by both German and US engineers. The screws also do a decent job of propelling the craft through water, although they're not the speediest way of doing so. It turns out that they do have a bit of a future in tailings management and exploration in colder climates, but we don't expect to see any screw tanks being used in warfare again anytime soon. Number 1. USVs Unmanned surface vehicles are the future of warfare, with many currently being employed all over the world. They're pretty much just driverless boats that can be controlled remotely, allowing them to operate without a crew. They're used mainly for surveying areas of the ocean, but the military has adapted the concept to design some killer vehicles that are pretty awesome to say the least. They're able to engage enemies in combat and are also helping to make mine hunting more safe and effective. 
The Protector USV, developed and produced by Rafael Advanced Defense Systems, is an attack USV that was built to protect against pirate and terrorist attacks on the high seas. It can reach speeds of 50 knots and it kitted out with all sorts of advanced weapons and surveillance systems. It features the Mini Typhoon Weapons System that can hold up to 230 rounds and be fitted with a 50 caliber machine gun, 7.62 mm machine gun, or a 40 mm grenade launcher allowing for exceptional offensive capabilities and versatility. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and hit that subscribe button so that you won't miss any of our future videos.